While South by Southwest folded a gaming panel because of your average trolls, you probably missed Dorothy's ride to Oz, legitimized the sonic tractor beam, and the VR mouse maze that teaches us about memory. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where your Halloween couple's costume commemorating Pizza Rat has already been thought of, guys. Try again. He is so adorable, right? And then we're going to Washington, D.C. to take back the White House! Yeah! A virtual reality system for mice was just tested out in Virginia. It involved some reality in that movable walls could tickle the whiskers on a mouse's face while it was really just running on a treadmill. However, most of the mice seemed to think they were in a complicated maze. Look at that concentration! The mice take uh, very naturally to it. You know, we're interested in sort of you know, having the animals do these sort of very kind of intelligent behaviors. The whole point of the exercise is to see if mice remembered complicated routes back to base, to then see if scientists can track how memories are formed. Eventually, researchers will use it to study diseases like Alzheimer's. And that can't come soon enough. Because what you did, you went around the door. You're supposed to come through the door. I'll get it this time. I'm sure you will. Everybody freeze! Gigantic rockets are not the only way to get off this planet. Fledgling space launch company Worldview has designed an alternative means of liftoff. Balloons the size of football stadiums that can gently haul equipment and orbital tourists beyond gravity's reach. The company recently set a 1 to 10 scale proof of concept up with a replica spacecraft in tow to a height of more than 10,000 feet. Worldview hopes to have its full-size six-passenger vehicle available by 2017. Here's hoping it doesn't go like this. I can't come back! I don't know how it works! Of course, that's assuming you've got $75,000 to burn for a ride into the stratosphere to begin with. James Kirk soon won't be having all the fun. Beam me aboard. Energize. Fictional tractor beams that can carry and lift objects have been around for a while, but they're here for real now. A team of researchers from the universities of Bristol and Sussex, in collaboration with company Ultra Haptics, built one that uses high amplitude sound waves to generate an acoustic hologram which can pick up and move small objects. It works by using 64 mini loudspeakers to create high pitch and high intensity sound waves. The beam then surrounds an object with high intensity sound, and this creates a force field to keep it levitating in place. And finally, if you haven't carved your pumpkins yet, it's not too late. Drop that carving knife and check out this science experiment of a display between iron oxide, which is basically rust, and aluminum powder. It's crazy hot, but then you can see fire dripping into the severed head of a pumpkin. Well worth it. Happy carving, y'all! We'll see you tomorrow!